From the forefront of medical research to the front lines of patient care, scientists and clinicians at the Mayo Clinic Center for Individualized Medicine are making notable progress in rare disease diagnostics and treatments. Rare disease therapeutics is in a really, I think, exciting time. Genetic gene targeted therapies has really come online as a, a, a realistic way to target pathways and genes specifically. They're harnessing emerging technologies, individualized therapies, and artificial intelligence to drive meaningful progress for the 300 million people worldwide who have a rare disease. We have the ability to understand how to impact those genetic mechanisms of disease. The challenge now is really applying that knowledge and applying those tools and translating them into something that's useful and deliverable. Each rare disease typically affects fewer than 200,000 people. Most of the 7,000 known rare diseases are caused by genetic variants. Dr. Cousins' research is centered on innovative new treatments, including one called antisense oligonucleotide. The individualized therapy can shut down or fix faulty genes without changing the sequence of the patient's DNA. It might mean that we can essentially correct the effect of that patient's genetic alteration that's causing disease or overcome that defect that that genetic change might cause. Dr. Pintoe Biro is director of the Mayo Clinic Program for Rare and Undiagnosed Diseases. Our goal is to ease the adoption of all these new technologies in a timely fashion first for our patients and then we would like to provide the support needed for uh, integrating all this genomic medicine into the, all, the, all the clinical practice. In 2023, the program facilitated genetic testing for nearly 900 patients with a suspected rare disease. Dr. Pintoe Viro says cutting-edge genome sequencing technologies, aided by artificial intelligence, are helping clinicians precisely pinpoint more disease-causing genes. Dr. Cousin and Dr. Pintoe Biro emphasize this progress would not be possible without the dedication of countless collaborators at Mayo Clinic and around the world.